This is Pam Smith with Farm Journal Media. Dave, give me your name and your title, what you do. Dave Shannon, I'm a technology development rep with Monsanto. Okay, we're outside of Champaign, Illinois on the Parkland campus and we've been digging a few roots this morning. Uh, rootworm is back somewhat, tell us about that. Well, these roots that we're gonna see this morning came from an area that was planted of pumpkins a year ago. So it wasn't a true field condition for most of us. Now there are pumpkins grown in Illinois and they do still attract rootworm. But this level of damage on an untreated root, this actually was also infested. We added a few eggs to it, but uh, you can see the level of damage and it's pretty significant. This was an untreated Roundup Ready only plant. And you can see the damage. It would probably rate on the note injury score somewhere around a two. I mean, it's, it's severe. Now this plant, we didn't have any added rootworm. This is what came in the field naturally. This was in, a, like you said, a pumpkin area from a year ago. And you see a lot of feeding down in the crown roots. This first node of brace roots, in a lot of cases, is going to be chewed off, sometimes completely. Sometimes a third node makes it to the ground and actually got in. This year, maybe a little less, we haven't had a lot of rain in Champaign County. <clears throat> so, but I mean, this root, this root would probably rate somewhere around a one. A lot of roots pruned off right almost down into the crown. In some areas we've had enough rain to where they've regenerated and it'll be a little bit harder to tell. If you do a good job cleaning the roots off though, you would be able to, to uh, see the damage. Now this is the same germplasm as the previous two roots. This is on a smart stacks hybrid planted into the same area. We saw probably about a foot height difference between the two kinds of corn, the Roundup only and the smart stacks in this case. The uh, Pollination is going to be considerably different because the Roundup only plants, they were stressed early from a lack of moisture. They would roll up and, I mean, they were rolled by 10 o'clock in the morning. In the field, we saw, do we see today still a difference in color? It's, uh, the smart stacks is quite a bit greener, darker green. It's a, it's a real pretty, pretty green. So I think there's going to be a lot of difference in those two. But this, this is what's getting us that kind of protection, I mean these deeper roots are helping us avoid some of those stresses. I think that's what one of the things that technology has really done for us, allowed us to access nutrients and moisture at a deeper level in the soil profile. We saw quite a few uh, rootworm beetles while we were out digging roots and uh, you know one of the things you said to me is that some growers thought that the rootworm was gone, they don't need the technology anymore, maybe not? Yeah. The it's been pretty common around in, in at least east central part of Illinois for the last couple of years that growers have sort of complained to me that we don't need the technology anymore because they aren't seeing the damage. But one of the reasons they're not seeing the damage is they're planting a lot of smart stacks and, and triple stack corn. <clears throat> Some people may not be following all the refuge guidelines so they may not have the opportunity to see the damage. But uh, I think what I'm seeing this year, it pretty well proves the point that they are still here. In areas of, there are areas of Illinois where pressure is significant. At one time, I would have thought that it had something to do with planting a lot of the trait. I think now it has a lot more to do with the spring weather we've had for really the last four springs. This is the first year that I've had this kind of pressure in my testing here at Parkland, even on trap crop. But it's significant, and I think growers that find out the hard way that they, you know, if they'd rather not grow the technology, I think they may be sorry in the future. It depends on the year, but they're still here. All right. Thank you very much.